Okay, today um, we're gonna mount this seats. Um, they're not really bolted right now. We just took it off the Corolla. So um, we took it off this car. Um, I'm borrowing it. Basically, this car has a rod knob, so the motor needs to be either rebuilt or replaced. It's still got, you know, it's factory 4AG. So, but yeah, so I figured since the car's gonna sit for about a few months. This car didn't have a passenger seat seat to begin with when we, uh, so we were borrowing my son's seats, but now he took it back because now his car's, you know, he takes his girlfriend in it. So, um, but let me show you how far I've gotten so far. So basic, okay, so basically I got angle iron and I cut them to make the legs for it. Um, So I cut them to make the legs, you know, I drilled it and then I bend it so that way it's, it fits because this, this is kind of like somewhere between 45 and 90 degree angle. So we're going to bolt it like that. Then I got this flat bars. Uh, I already cut them aside so what I'm going to do is weld it right there. Sorry, I'm just, my dog's been. So, we're gonna weld it right here, and right here. Of course, we're not gonna weld it on the car. But what I probably do is mark it, spot it, and then fit it. For the back, if you notice, this one is straight. So, it's gonna be like that. But I've gotta find, find the right race so that way it'll be level with this. And then put a spacer. I don't know if I'm going to weld the spacer or I'm just going to drill a hole and, you know, bolt it like that. And then, if you can kind of imagine, from there, we're going to get another flat bar that goes across like that. One here, one there, and then we're going to drill our holes for the sliders so that the sliders will bolt up to here. So this is the bracket. This would be the bracket. The slider comes with the seat. Um, and then yeah okay so i have this is where we're at i have two sets of these um so basically i got the legs that and then i put a spacer so that way this is level going this way um i know the welds are nasty looking um i'm no welder by any chance i know how to weld and i know how to grind it down to make it look better so that's how's that uh, but yeah so now the next is I'm gonna cut a flat bar going this way and then this way and then we're gonna put the holes on it so we can mount the bracket you know slider uh, after that I'm gonna mount another angle iron on this side going up and put a hole and that's what's gonna hold the seat belt uh, it's pretty sturdy um, yeah I'll, I'll be right back Okay, so I got four of these cut out. Uh, they're just flat bars. So I'm gonna mount it like this. One there, one there. Uh, I do have to measure the holes on the seat sliders to see how far apart, because I'm gonna drill a hole here and a hole here. But yeah, before I weld this, I'm gonna have to measure it. And then tack this in place, try it. If it fits, weld it in, you know, then grind down the welds, make it look clean, and then paint it, and then I'm basically done. I gotta make the seat belt bracket over there too. So, okay, I'll be back. So I got, yeah, I got it all done. Um, so yeah, basically this is angled iron, and then I cut a straight piece. This is angled iron, that's where the seat belt's gonna mount, or, you know, the seat belt bracket. I'll show you in a minute, and then do, and then the seat rails goes here. Uh, and this is how it would look with the seat bolted up. Um, you see the seat belt bolted right there. Um, I got this thing pushed all the way back. That's the only downside is that won't slide with it. But I don't think you'll sit that far back. I got pushed all the way back so you can get to that bolt. And then it's bolted through there. Yeah, let me get this on the car and finished up and I'll show you the final product. 
Okay, there it is. It's all mounted up. Um, you know, you got, um, and I painted blue because I was too lazy to go to the store and this is the only spray can I had left. So that's why it's blue. Um, and that's pretty sturdy. Uh, the next thing probably gonna end up getting is a five point harness. And eventually, we're probably gonna put a bar or a cage on this. We'll see. Um, yes, this is a car we don't drive every day. We drive it back and forth the track and canyons whenever we can. Uh, okay, well, here's the clip of us. A couple weekends ago, we took this on a Mexican canyon. Um, if you notice on the vi on on the clip, you'll notice the car struggling. Uh, that's part I believe and you know, I'm thinking that's because we're about 7,000 feet and It was like a hundred degree day. It was hot that day um, So I'm guessing that's why the car struggles um, But yeah, here's the clip and see you next time